Okay, so what do skunks, raccoons, and dogs all have in common? I'm gonna share something with you that I think you're gonna find incredibly amazing. So the reason for this video is because the other night I came back to the office in the evening and as I did, I saw this huge raccoon actually coming out of the bushes near the office. And then, as I was watching, there happened to be four more that joined them. And they were various different sizes, so it was obvious a family. And they were truly very well fed. But it reminded me of a time where we had a property that was actually rented and they had skunks in the yard. And at first we thought there was just maybe one. Well, it turned out that it was a family. And this particular family had young children as well as pets. And the skunks really, really concerned them. So what happened is, is that they were, we went forward with trying to figure out a way to potentially trap the skunks and end up having it be where the skunks were then taken to another location. And in exploring that, it was actually gonna be really, really expensive. And there was no guarantee. As a matter of fact, I think it was like $300 per skunk. And by the time we counted the family, it was close to about six of them. So when I called the owner and explained to that, him that that was the case, he started laughing. He says, you know what? We've had skunks all the time. They lived out in the Los Alamos area, and I guess it's really prevalent. And he's actually introduced me to a product that I'm gonna to introduce to you. And so what it is, is um, this particular product right here is called Critter Ritter. And the neat thing about it is, is that it is not toxic. And what we did with that family is we actually ended up taking this product and I took and put it all over the different areas of the yard and especially the areas where we saw them entering into the yard. Hey, nice to see you, I'm glad you like it. This is gonna be a huge guys, so pass this on. But anyway, what's gonna happen, what happened then is after doing that, they had no more challenges with the skunks. So I also had a house that I had listed who ended up having, the, they ended up moving away. Well, they had a family of raccoons that actually was in their backyard that would visit at night. And it was amazing because I had a pet door on the property. Well, they figured out how to open that pet door and they went into the house. I saw all these little paw prints inside the house. So did the same thing, got my critter ritter and I sprinkled it around that area. So that way I could tell that they did not approach that, that cat door and go into the house. So these are two situations where this product was really, really helpful. Where you might also want to do it is if you happen to have a neighborhood dog that may use your yard or a neighborhood cat, this also is supposed to potentially help you with keeping those little neighborhood um, cats away from your yard. Now, if you have a pet yourself that's a dog or a cat, you won't want to use it. But at the same time, if you happen to have neighborhood dogs or cats that come into your yard, this will also detract them. So. This is called Krista, and Critter Ritter can be found at Home Depot. I don't know if it's found at Lowe's, but that's where I bought it before, and they have different types, but it will help you with skunks, raccoons, and dogs. As always, have an amazingly blessed day. Please pass this on to family and friends. Let's all get smart together, and let's keep those critters where they belong. Bye.